Hello, 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 my loves. Welcome back to my channel. It is Rona Cole here, and I am back with another cleaning video. Today's video is me tackling some things that I have been putting off for quite a while. No particular reason, just out of pure laziness. So, if you would like to clean along with me, keep watching. start in the dining room by cleaning my windows I think I've done this once since we've been in this house don't judge me y'all <laughs> so I started off cleaning it with a glass spray and a squeegee now this did not work well because there were spots on the windows that actually needed to be scrubbed uh, and it was also a little messy now this works well the squeegee works well in the shower but not so well on the windows so then I decided to go in with my microfiber cloth that I got from Dollar Tree. It worked okay, but it left a lot of product still on the window. So yeah, that didn't work that great either. So then I decided to go in with a regular towel just to get the remaining product off the window. So now I'm just going to go in and clean off this table. So the last DIY I posted was the Glitter Z Gallery dupe and I used Mod Podge. Y'all, I did not protect my table and it's Mod Podge and glitter still stuck on here.
So now I'm just going in with my Dyson and vacuuming the floor and the rug. So the shoe cabinet is from Ikea and I just changed out the knobs to those crystal knobs. I got those from Home Goods. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. This window was really dirty. I do not know why. And also there were like at least 30 dead flies when I lifted up the blinds. It was so gross, y'all. These blinds did not want to cooperate and they are heavy as heck. Y'all have probably seen Caleb in every cleaning video that I've posted unless he's asleep. He is my little shadow. <laughs> he is everywhere. for at least two years and I don't think I've ever vacuumed it.
That lets you know how often I actually clean and vacuum them. As you can see, Caleb is the reason I had to clean this table in the first place. He climbs on top of it. He takes his cup and drips juice and milk on it. He will not let me be great. So I decided to incorporate a few little pumpkins I got from Dollar Tree. I think I'm gonna decorate a tiny bit for fall this year. the Dyson Absolute V8 so it has a separate attachment for the hardwood so of course I just took that off and put on the other attachment to clean the rug well vacuum the rug
by the time I got to the last window, I remembered that these windows actually fold inward so you can clean them. I was like, oh my God, really? Sectional, y'all. The sectional has so many Cheerios, broken crackers, small toys, um, gum. Everything you could think of was under these cushions. while I am cleaning the kids think it's the perfect opportunity to jump and play on the couch I decided to go ahead and take the cushion covers off so I could throw them in the washing machine and wash them. Oh, 
Christian and Caleb. Y'all, they so disrespectful to my cleaning process. Of course, it wouldn't be a clean with me video if Caleb didn't knock down my camera. I just wanted to show you guys the difference washing the cushions mate the left cushion is the one that I washed and the right one is the one that was left on and there is a drastic difference between the two 
and here is a look at the pillows the back pillows the one on the left is the one that was washed and the one on the right is the one that wasn't washed so that is it you guys thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next one searching for a longer day